I was a painter and at some point I got stuck. I just couldn't draw anymore. I was drawing, but all the drawings that I was making were dead. They didn't have any emotions. And surprisingly, I tried to use machines to put back emotions in my work. All those boxes are full of drawings. So there are more than 20,000 drawings. The robots don't know what they are drawing. So, so when you draw as a human, the problem is that at some point you know what you are drawing and it's influencing what you are drawing. So it, it's very difficult to, be, to do a fully spontaneous drawing as, as a human. And so using robots and machines enables me to be as spontaneous as possible. They can't lie because they don't know what they are drawing. There is this extreme spontaneity because I don't touch the pen. But I'm also totally in control because I do the programming. I think it's a bit too messy, this one. Or well, not messy enough. The thing is that with my drawing, when I was doing drawings by hand, I really like messy uh, drawings. But that really look uh, good when you look a bit further. Now, I used to really, when I was doing things by hand, I, I used to really like doing as fast as possible and just do it like if it was a big scribble and the thing would appear like that. But, so I'd like to use the robot to do the same thing. It's a complex relationship. At the end of the day, there are tools, you know, there are, there are things that are presentation of myself because I used to be the drawer and they draw with the same technique as I was using and, and I get them to draw in a way to do drawings that I would have liked to do by hand but obviously it's not the same because they are not human so they don't draw in the same way so it's a mixture and also as I said before I never know what they're going to do. As I say, there are only machines, and we see them as different. Like, for example, with the robots that I show, they always at some point look at you and look at the paper. So it's fake. The thing just looks, you know, it's, it's a machine. But as soon as the thing looks at you, you really think that something looks at you. So, so it, and, and also the way I program them, they hesitate and things like that, and they look a bit fragile and clumsy. Well, they are not, we see them like that. It's why I always speak to, about actors or puppets and things like that. It's things that we project on the robot because they, do, they don't exist as beings. It's, it's something that we project onto them. And it's very easy in a certain way to manipulate humans. Like, you know, you put a sock on your hand and you do that and immediately you have a, a character which is alive. And the robots is the same. They have this, this quality uh, because of their movements.